Hello, this is Shoyan, a Japanese carpenter. Today, I'll make wooden joints at the edge of two timbers and connect them to make it into one beam. This joint is called Okake Daisensugi. It's a little strange name, but this joint is very sturdy. Marking has been done already, so today, I would like to show you how to process it. First step is to cut the timber roughly with Omaru saw. This Omaru saw is the biggest saw, which can cut 150mm deep at maximum. This tool is called Komisen Kakunomi, which can make a small square hole at once. As well as the top side, cut the bottom side diagonally. For this joint, the half side of width is to be cut out. So cut the timber until half width from various directions to remove an unnecessary portion as large as possible at once. The height of this timber is 360mm, so 60mm of the center portion remains even after cutting by the biggest 150mm saw. So that portion is to be removed by a saw and a chisel. Oh, I hit my thumb, but it's alright. My thumb has gotten stronger by being hit for 48 years. Next is to adjust the shape by the tool called Tukinomi. We use this chisel not by hitting. Its handle is long like a spear. We use this by pushing. This joint is made of two parts, onta and menta. That means a partner. For this joint, the shape of each part is the same. The difference is only the angle of the line I'm cutting. The angle of onta and menta is opposite. Only that is different. There is a gap in this joint. So remove this portion by a chisel. This portion can be removed only by a chisel. So, this joint is tiring a little bit. Then, cut the edge of both sides by a saw. This beam can be seen from side. So, cut only the center portion using the end of the saw. So that we can remove small wood chips easily. And the result will also be clean. This blade is called Shakuri Kana. The 30mm wide blade is attached on it. 
This plane is only for processing this kind of joint, so bigger than normal one. It's useful to finish the edge. This is a normal plane. Plane the edge portion by the earlier one, and the center portion by this normal plane straightly along marking. The important thing is never to make the center stick out. It's not a problem if the center is dead. But if the center sticks out, the joint will be too tight or will not fit. So it's necessary to make it straight. The end portion is different from the earlier portion, which can be plain by a normal plane. Here also needs to be straight as well. Make a groove where the other part's end comes. This groove prevents the twist in this joint. Then make the gap at the end. This gap fits the groove I made earlier. The size of them is 15 mm by 15 mm. To make this groove, Chip a little with a chisel first, and shape off straight with a drill. Without chipping first, the drill can be off to the side. So it's important to chip first. The height of this timber is 360 mm which is the maximum size of material for building, so that the chisel cannot reach to the bottom side. It's also the difficulty to make this joint. Now, one timber has been completed. So, let's make the other one. The shape is the same as the first one, only the angle which I told you is different. But how to process it is all the same. So, let's fast forward the video. I wish I could work like this video, 15 times faster. Next step is to make a dowel to drive in the center of the joint. This material is oak. It is generally said that the oak doesn't rot for 500 years unless it gets wet.
Now processing's joint has completed, so let's connect them. Then drive in the dowels into the joint. This may be the most fun for me. I take the rhythm by tapping on the dowel before hitting it. It's my habit, which generally Japanese carpenters don't do. When I was a disciple, I used to be told that it's a behavior of shipwrights. Okay, now two timbers are connected into one beam. It's strong against both vertical and horizontal force. It became one piece of beam completely. It's a sturdy joint. That's all for today. Thank you for watching my video. In the next video, I'll finish the beans that I made in this and last video with the plane. I would appreciate you watching it.